Okay, I'm gonna do a quick test here, like a little mic check first. See if that comes up. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick test here. That works. Hey, how's everybody going? Okay, let me just get my windows organized so I can kind of see the chat at the same time here before I start. Hey, Mr. V and uh, Ninja Bill, Bumblebee, Bumble Breeze, and Skybite, who were here very early. Thanks for coming. So uh, before I, I start, I uh, just wanted, you can see on my workspace here, it is Swoop. Um, so far, what I have um, done with Swoop. Now, some of the parts here, the plastic is gray already. I, I'm thinking I'm going to keep it gray just so it's not just black and silver on it. Um, still a bit more work to do with Swoop. Like these are just, uh, you know, I think this is two coats of, of red. Still got more to do. Still have to do this part. But um, he's coming out. He's coming out pretty okay. A couple more coats of red on here. I'm hand painting this. Most of it is actually spray painted or airbrushed. Um, the head, I'm gonna have to redo as well. But um, that the head, I'll probably just hand paint. So a little just primered on him. Now here's the thing. Here's the sludge. As you can see, it's a different color, and this one is. A lot more brighter silver. I don't know. It's harder to tell with the, with the the glare and stuff. But I think um, I ran out. I gotta. So what ended it end up happening? I'm thinking I'm going to do all the Dinobots in their slight different colors, but silver. And the more I thought about it, I thought you know maybe that might make a bit more sense. Why should they? have like all the same skin color, so to speak. What if they're just slight variations of silver, but they kept or gray? I don't know. We'll see what, what happens. I, you know, um, I really wanted to work on it, but I didn't have enough paint to do that. So, hey, Adamantium Matrix. This third party uh, soup is from Black Mamba. Let me pull it up uh, over here. So you can see... Uh, this is the picture of it. As you can see, it came in yellow. Sludge is the last one I did. And um, hey, thanks, Ninja Bill. Um, yeah, so I figured maybe I'll make Swoop more chrome. like. And you can see um, Snarl that I did was a green. Next one I got to do is Slag, which is blue and stuff. So just some progress on my uh, Swoop here. And I think it's coming along nicely. Um, very, I actually like this a lot. In fact, I might go back and repaint. In G1, this part of sludge was actually more of a chrome finish. So I might do that. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't want to go back once I finish it because I kind of want to finish them all and then maybe go back. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But um, I'm going to put the parts here for now. Because what was suggested, oh, well, um, I can't remember when, but I think Skybite, yeah, Skybite suggested it. It's about doing a, a custom on stream from start to finish. And I've had this guy for some time. This is Studio Series Blackout. And now I may not have been a, been a fan of the movie designs, but... Blackout kind of has a special place because for me, and the reason why I picked them up is when I first saw Transformers as a live action movie um, in the commercials, uh, I distinctively remember that scene where Blackout is shown transforming and he has that, the, that uh, G1 transformation sound. And I, I remember back then like being so excited for the movies. Oh, I popped it out. Um, but I thought it'd be cool to at least take this figure 
and do something with him, especially since it's a studio series. Okay. You know what? I didn't I didn't prep uh Scorponok yet. So let's do him last. I'm gonna take out Blackout first. I've already taken him out. Um, but I <laughs> wanted to do the magic of unboxing. So it's a huge figure. Let's see. I use blacks, browns, golds, and reds. Oh, so have you customized uh, a studio series? This studio series one, uh, Blackout uh, Ninja Bill. But I thought you know because of the 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 tie I have with this figure, I thought it'd be kind of cool to to do uh, some basic panel lining with him, and then afterwards, after I do normally what I do is I'll panel line the whole thing. Oh, cool, cool, Ninja Bill. I I gotta check that out. So the first thing I normally do is panel line the whole thing, and after I do a brief cleaning and stuff. But um, and then after I panel line it, then I go back and pick up the the details. And a lot of folks already know my choice of a tool or to panel line is the Tamiya. It's just because the way it flows. And of course, I I always say very be very careful with it but just looking at the the figure itself it looks like it has a lot of nice um parts to panel line and then after i panel line it i'll probably do some weathering on there but i'm just trying to man there's a lot of stuff i wonder if i've not even i've not even transformed this i've only basically taken it out of the box wiped it a bit on certain areas i'm just kind of observing observing <laughs> the the toy itself just to see where to start um but one thing cool is there's a lot of nice detail on this guy yeah bumble breeze i mean and this is actually a pretty you know for a movie figure you know like i said i'm not a huge fan of the movie designs but this is actually one of them that i don't um mine too much i thought it was pretty cool and you know he's a new character uh, let's see i've not even reviewed this guy or done a transformation on him i'm just going to straight out work on him but he looks nice i like it a lot so yeah i'm gonna so what, what i'm trying to do with this guy i'm gonna try do some panel lining actually let's and just work on him I, i'm just trying to figure out where to start this seems like a nice area to uh to start i don't like the hands on that toy you know yeah the hands are a little claw like but at least they're not megatron hands <laughs> so, oh cool I'll, I'll go uh check that out and of course what i you know i just use this to panel line because I love how it just gets in the crevices so easily. Now, granted, you do have to do a bit of cleanup afterwards. But it does it really easy. Wei Jang has one now, and the hands are much improved. Ah, is it oversized, uh, Ninja Bill? I'm curious. I know Wei Jang does a lot of oversized stuff. Like, I have the weathered, uh, the battle damage oversized uh, MP10. Yes, uh, Mr. V, uh, the only thing that I can say about this is just be careful to not let this pull. You don't want it to pull because it will eat up your plastic. I have a video about that <laughs> because um, while working on my side swipe, and you see how I was, was messy a bit on there? and But normally you can just wipe it off like that. But because I plan to weather this, um, yeah, that's the main reason why I like this product. Even though you have to be careful with it, I love the way it runs through all the lines. It makes it makes panel lining a lot quicker because, look, I'm, I'm just going to put a little drop here. And you see how it just runs through it as if it's doing the work for you. So I'm not really – I'm not making line strokes here. I'm just like – dropping it and letting the liquid flow by itself adamanti matrix you can buy a set of hands from shockwaves labs for studio black oh cool hey atf marco 
I'm, I might have to check that out. So, yeah, I, I love the way this flows. And they actually come in other colors as well. Um, this They have a, a dark brown color. Um, I would normally use this if it was more of on the reds or oranges or, you know, that side. But um, for this, I mean, I was debating on whether or not using uh, a dark gray or a black. But you know what? I'm just going to use black. Um, the dark gray comes out a little too light for me. But, you know, it, honestly, it's all preference. You know, if you have a preference for it. But, yeah, I, I just love the way, like, I'm going to dab this. And you see how it, it just. And that's why, you know, a lot of people ask me, like, why do I like this if. You know, some it can eat my plastic. Well, if you, if used properly, it's really good. <laughs> but when I used it, it wasn't proper. I I, I let it uh, sit too long, and uh, you know I didn't uh, I I you know just got to pay attention to what you're doing here. But I do like how it flows like that. Otherwise, if I had to like manually really draw these lines, like like with a Gundam marker or something. It, it could take it will take me a long time but as you can see I'm, I'm not allowing it to pull and when i'm wiping it i'm not i'm trying to not remove it's just really light and stuff we'll have to look at, do not do much paneling not my thing on ts but gundams yeah yeah and that's for me the that that the gundam side is where i really thought hey it'd be kind of cool to paneling some tfs so you you see this area here i'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet because they're not exactly panel lines. They're like little rivets. I'm going to go back on it and kind of I might do some testing um, on it a little bit just to see what options I have because it's not exactly something I would do. So pardon me a bit. I'm I guess I could because it looks like you can fill it. Hey, David, welcome back. But I mean, the cool part because I do plan to weather it after. Even if I get some black smears, it's a, it's forgivable because um, I'm gonna dirty this thing up anyway. This is not gonna look like it's gonna. This, I'm I'm try, I'm gonna try to mimic how in the movie where where it came onto that base. Yeah, I do have a darker gray, but I you know I don't. It doesn't. I think the hard part for me with that dark gray on the rivets, let me just, I'm going to go through this real quick and just kind of see what happens. So you can see I just filled it up. Uh, it kind of fills it. It shows it, but um, I might do something else with that. But um, that, I'm no Da Vinci. Trust me. I, he, the, thing, the main reason why I wanted to do these streams, especially the workshop stuff, is I basically wanted to just show folks whatever i know and see if they wanted to do it as well and then whoever joins in on the chat i know like uh, ninja bill he does great customs tf marco if you check his stuff out he builds stuff from scratch <laughs> i mean um i i just wanted to make it as a hangout where uh you know folks who do customs and on transformers can you know bounce ideas off of each other and 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 at least learn from each other Learn some tips. I mean, I don't know everything. I, I definitely am not the best at this. I'm just applying what little I know to it and, you know, seeing what works. And if if folks out there in chat have better suggestions, honestly, I'm, I'm open to it. I mean, there's, to me, um, customizing and doing modding and all that stuff is all a learning process, you know. Um, I ain't too proud to learn uh, from others, you know, just to, uh, because um, that's the only way you can grow, right? I, I mean, if there's a saying, you know, you don't want to be the smartest person in the room all the time because you'll never, you'll never learn <laughs> anything new. So, but yeah, so yeah, you know, and just wanted to, you know, it, it Streams like this also kind of force me to um, get stuff done <laughs> as well. You know, I've had this uh, Studio Series Blackout for how many months now? And, and you know, 
suggesting doing this on live stream and tr trying to finish it off on live is probably the best thing for me to get m off my butt and actually do this. David, one thing I come to know is that now, oh, David, we're, we're all learning. We all start someplace, right? We all start somewhere. We all have to, you know, learn tips and tricks from others as well. I mean, that's how we can improve our, our arts. Yeah. Yeah. TF Markham. Great. Uh, I mean, it's one thing to do customs like this, but to build scratch build. I mean, honestly, man, that's, that's a whole nother level. If you ask me, <laughs> maybe one day, I mean, I, 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 because I have a 3d printer, I might, it might be way easier for me to just 3d print a custom transformer than to build it from scratch. I, I, I gotta have a skill set. I gotta learn that, that I'm pretty sure it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience but even with this craft it's just patience and you know part of me is like you know doing stuff like this and just hanging out it's it's relaxing you know it's it's you know, at the end of a long day you know with regular work and all that stuff yeah what's it uh it's i forget the word but it's relaxing right and sometimes for me personally i don't try to i don't focus on one area all the time because i get easily bored so i i you know go back and forth and you know just see whatever whatever parts interest me at the moment like over here so yeah that is the next level haunted the, and haunted dolls don't forget them <laughs> yep haunted dolls man but so uh, if you're not, if you don't know, uh, Ninja Bill posted his uh, Grimlock working progress for uh, Grimlock custom, and that looks pretty cool on Transformers and such. I'm always interested to see what everybody's working on too because, you know, as I said in the last stream, just having a community also of not just the reviewers but the community of customizers in for Transformers is, you know, really cool to see what everybody else is working on. But yeah, this has a lot of rivets. Like I said, I really like the way, like I'm just touching this. Again, this panel line is very thick, so it doesn't fill up as much. So was the page, no, <laughs> no Ninja Bill. Oh, actually the page, if he doesn't know what he's talking about, um, the my daughter already, um, grab the doll before i got home so i'll, I'll never know okay right, so yeah that's a little bit wiping why not try the technique you use on your ultra magnus and panel line um you know i thought about it but the that that paint um it it turned out to be a lot of work afterwards to clean up um i don't you know i don't i'm not sure how it will work on this guy i and it's a little lighter but uh yeah i almost forgot about that technique um and i you know it, it's it's good and all for some but i don't know sometimes i have no rhyme or reason <laughs> thanks ninja bill to be honest, I, I, I sometimes I, I it's just more of what I feel like using at the time. Um, plus, uh, Ultra Magnus had a lot of whites, so using this, I I gotta recall, I know using black was way too dark, so I didn't use black, and the the gray was way too too light. Okay, TF Marco, you have a good one. Thanks for dropping in. But yes, sorry, uh, uh, Skyboy. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we got a bit of here. But you know, I'm I'm really glad I'm at least starting to work on this um, uh, Studio Series figure as I have had it for a long time. And you can see I wiped away too much on here. 
But you know, speaking of TF Marco stuff, man, one day I'd love to make a custom Transformers. Now, if if you wipe it too much, you don't have to wipe it too quickly. You can let it set, and if it it's a little bit harder to to wipe, you can always use some get some alcohol to clean it. I love seeing what other people are working on. Personally, I'm working on building my team of Generation One Seacons. Cool. Are are you are you uh, doing some kit bashing, um, Skybite, to to make them, or are you uh, or are 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 they at the uh, uh, official G one? Yeah, one day, one day for me too, Ninja Bill. I mean. It'd be kind of cool, but like I said, probably end up uh, 3D printing one might be more within my um, my uh, skill set. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, there's this there's a lot to go through for this guy. So this this will take me a couple of streams, honestly, to finish. Have to eat. Might be able to catch the end of the stream. No problem, Bumble Breeze. Thanks for dro dropping in. Hope you have uh, is it probably dinner time for you. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Well, Skybot, you're on. No, I'm collecting the official toys. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, uh, the official G1. Or are you looking forward to the? Are you looking for the? Um, I'm looking forward to the generations, see cons that are coming out. Oh, that's what we might, you know, that's what we might see at Comic-Con. Comic-Con, uh, San Diego Comic-Con is next week. So uh, there there might be, so everybody's talking about Generations, I mean, uh, Siege previews. But I know, um, I think it was at the Tokyo Comic-Con or Tokyo Toy, Sto uh, Toy Show, we got previews of the Sia Cons. No worries, David. Thanks for... Uh, swinging by. But yeah, we had uh, previews of the Generation Seacons. Uh, Seacons. Seacons. Yeah, I can't wait for those. Uh, you know, it would be kind of cool if at San Diego Comic Con we saw um, full colored versions of them. That would be awesome. But so there are some rumors of uh, the I, at, C at San Diego Comic Con. They're going to preview or at least let us know a couple of things. One, the next Titan. Um, the other one, I believe, is the next leader class, the next commander class. And uh, the next name of the series. So right now, this year is Siege War for Cybertron. So it's going to be something war for cybertron or something i don't know something like it to that effect right oh yeah mr v see ya man have a good day but i'm kind of curious um what and i'm pretty excited to know see what's coming up from san diego comic-con just to uh know what's happening or what what we're gonna have in the future i personally hope we get uh i hope we get a Titan class Scorponok, um, Commander class um, Tidal Wave would be kind of cool as well. Hopefully, and maybe I don't know if for leader class. I know I'm mentioning all Decepticons, but you know Siege is. I mean, when I was looking at my Siege collection, I mean it's mostly Autobots. Hey, Inutabi, how's it going? Just hanging out and chatting while working on this studio series blackout. Um, gonna try and do this guy on stream from start to finish. Well, not today. Don't have that kind of time all in one day. Done grilling your burgers. Awesome. And did you bring any for us? <laughs> the line is kind of bot heavy, isn't it? Yeah, it is uh, bot heavy. I mean, I'm look. I don't know if you can see, but my collection of Siege is up there. And if I didn't have 
even with all the, the the i have three reflectors and three um brunts and my autobots still outnumber my decepticons so well but the cool part is i still gotta get red wing uh thundercrackers coming up um who else yeah it, it is bot heavy so who knows maybe i'm hoping um i'm hoping uh what you call uh the next next year's line will have a bit more decepticons so we know we have um what do you call it? astro train coming down down the line and stuff and we have a decepticon version of impactor i think that's what's rumored oh well, yeah they the the galactic man shockwave the gray shockwave aka galactic man i'm, I'm still on the fence if i'm gonna get that solar flare acid storm yeah i like i said in uh in previous streams i wouldn't mind if they repainted that whole that mold as many times as they wanted hey omatic prime i'm not into the red wing maybe just the odd guy here but does fancy me i i just want more decepticons <laughs> My Walmart was well, my Walmart. Well, I can't read. My Walmart was packed with brunts, red alerts, refractors, and hounds. Awesome. Now, uh, the rumor is there's a refractor three pack, but possibly I think in G1 colors, from what I understand. Skywarp goes up tomorrow. Uh, do you know where will he be on? So he's a generation select. Oh no, he's not generation. You think he'll be on Amazon, uh, Inotabi? Or will he be like Walmart? I mean, Target. Because I missed out on that Red Wing. Be... Prime Day. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I got to wake up extra early then. <laughs> For Prime Day. I Hey, Ninja Bill, I want new cone heads as well. Um,. I'm not sure. Hey, let me grab Starscream real quick. So here's Starscream. Not sure. Monday, Tuesday, I think the G2 set goes up. Cool. Where are you getting all this info, you know, Tommy? Man, I can't find that. Cool. I got to be on the lookout. So here's Starscream. I'm not sure. You know how they're gonna make him a cone head so but you know personally even if dirge ramjet and thrust weren't cone heads and were just colored in this mold i'll i'll be okay with that i want new molds for them not rehash of the screamer mold uh tf rumor section okay cool uh on tfw oh yeah tfw rumor section okay cool i gotta check that out i guess that's where the galactic man and the other rumors came out from but yeah so prime day tomorrow okay gotta um actually prime day i wonder what time prime day starts it could be starting when i'm about to go to sleep because you know i'm in the the last time zone let me see if i can find it uh let's see tf world gonna search real quick in the rumor section let's see news and rumors okay news and rumors let me see if i can pull it up here real quick okay so here's the news and rumors and oh yeah did you guys see the news that um g1 soundwave was released in canada somebody picked them up so be on the lookout on your local walmarts for that i'm i'm actually really excited for that let's see siege skywarp next line is siege mp lancer picks i'm guessing yeah and Maybe it's in here. Wait, since the cone heads were the only cone head because of their earth modes, wouldn't that mean 
the Cybertronium modes, they'd be Tetra heads. <laughs> you know, anything's possible. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, personally, it'd be cool if they had unique molds or at least um, from the, the wing standpoint that they were changed up a bit, which I can, which I could see. I mean, they could change up these wings a bit um, without affecting the rest of the robot, which is pretty cool for its transformation. But I don't know how they'll do the cone head thing. Sky by oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's I I'd, I'd love cone heads to come along. Like I said, I I'd, I'd like them. I, I wouldn't mind them reusing that mold, the Starscream mold, for you know Acid Storm, um, Sun to Sunspot. I forget the name, uh, or even actually, you know what would be cool? Remember how in More Than Meets the Eye there was that generic bluish. Not exactly bluish, uh, not Thundercracker bluish, but bluish Decepticon jet. Um, you know, they were just like, uh, I would guess, cannon fodder. I wouldn't mind that. It'd just be like a Decepticon, maybe no name. It just says Decepticon Warrior. I don't know. I'd be down with that. I, I'm, I'm, s the the imbalance of Autobots to Decepticon in Siege is so great that i'm kind of down for any decepticon and you know i know it was like that in generation one you know the first wave of trans uh g1 transformers like their decepticons were so outnumbered compared to the autobots so i guess hasbro is giving us g1 in more ways than one right not only with uh uh, the looks of the figures, but in how many Decepticons and Autobots we get. Acid Storm, Iron Storm, Solar Storm, sun, a lot of storms out there. <laughs> and that's why uh, Siege is such a, a true to G1 line, right? Because there's hardly any Decepticons, in the, at least in the first wave. Maybe. But um, I would love a, a, bus, um, a bus saw. I'm wondering if, oh um, yeah, no, that the Sound Blaster exclusive doesn't have a cassette, so or a, whatever they want to call it. In every G1 series of the line, the bots outnumbered the cons. Yep. But I guess the hard part is when you know of so many Decepticon characters out there that could could be made, you know, and wanting them to get the siege treatment. I think that's the thing it's like wow but i'm glad they're doing the the lesser known characters i, I really i can appreciate that the like personally i love ape face i hope they do snapdragon but um yeah it's uh but at the end of the week we'll know a lot more for sure uh when there's comic con reveals so Actually, midweek. I think um, in there is a, a preview night on Wednesday for San, San Diego Comic Con, so we might be getting some news on some of these or confirmations on some of these rumors. Uh, then that's because the con were to appear to be more powerful, thus the ra uh, ratio or some. Am I given to understand? I guess so. But you know what? As kids, though. I don't think we ever really, I you know, I don't know. As kids, I, I don't ever recall it bothering me not having enough Decepticons. <laughs> just, it's just uh, funny how um, when you get older, what, what, uh, what stands out more to you, right? But, yeah. Okay, so getting a, this is going to take a while. It will take some time to panel line all this. But uh, I don't know if there's any other rumors. I know I know there were. I did the stream yesterday on the TFCon previews. But um, well, some things looking forward to, like for me, the, that Thunder Clash. 
Dial clone exclusive characters. That would be cool. I can well, I can see that coming from the Takara side. Oh yeah, some characters I would love to see. We were all young and impressionable. We all wanted the heroic guys. That's true. Um, some characters I'd like to see done um, or in siege because I don't think we got a really good one. I I want to see a I want to see a siege double de dealer. Like, uh, not I know they did that in that generations or thrilling thirty. I can't remember, but I wanna I want an updated or double dealer uh, for siege. I think that would be kind of cool to have. Clampdown and Tiger Tracks. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I know there's people thinking there's rumors of uh, Spinister be being repainted as um, Rotorstorm. Inutabi, Deluxe Cybertron Hotshot repaint. Yep, using accurate head sculpt. G1 toy color special package. Refractor, yep. Real working what? Wait. So they're gonna make refractor into a real work work. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I misread that. I misread that as a real working. So okay, it's gonna include a flash lens and button pad. Oh my goodness. That's a. If it's gonna be in G one colors, I, I guess it's okay. I I don't know. I. Depending how cool that flash lens and stuff is, I may or may not pick up that refractor. I'm pretty happy with the one I got, to be honest. It it has to be something extra special. Blackout is one of the only Hey Snoke. Yeah. I I so so Snoke, um the reason why I, I picked him up, um I said earlier on the stream was um I remember back in 2007 watching the trailer, seeing that transformation, you know, live action transformer on the big screen or to be on the big screen for first time. I never forget it. And I thought, you know, out of all the Bay Transformers, um, I I wanted to pick up Blackout just because of that. You know, Tabi says, uh, likely Transformers Generation selects Deluxe Power Dasher repaint the brunt. Yep. With a new head sculpt, impact Decepticon Impactor, yeah. The new MicroMaster ten packs. I'm looking forward to. I hope. Um, okay, the repaints of the original release versions. Awesome, right? I love. Yeah. Hey, Snoke, that that opening scene. Well, the Bay uh, Transformers did not end up the way I I wanted it to be. There were some good things in there that I really enjoyed. Inutabi features painted MicroMaster, yep. Leader Shockwave Galactic Man. And I, I I'm still on the fence on getting Galactic Man. I have no attachment to that. Um especially you know what would have been cool. I may if they did this, if they just released Shockwave um in Galactic Man colors without all that extra armor and made him a Voyager. I probably would have picked him up, but I would not pick him up for leader prices because at least Shockwave for leader prices has the colors that I want. But Galactic Man is more for nostalgia, more of a novelty for me. And if he was just, um, just in without the armor, I'd probably pick him up. Ninja Bill says, I would like to see new Micro Master playsets. Yes, I me too. And you know what I might end up doing is, and I, I say this a lot, but time is a factor. You know, if I had the time, I, I wouldn't mind trying to 3D print just Micro Master bases. The transformations were simple enough, and it seems the the design aesthetics would be simple to design in 3D. Throttle bots would be cool. Yes, they would. Yeah, would definitely enjoy some throttle bots. Let's go on this side. Gold bug. I remember that. Um, I forget the rest. Was it getaway or run? I forget. I remember they had a dump truck. I wouldn't mind just throttle bots as, you know, legend scale. 
and that's it. No, no gimmick that you don't have to make them combine. Just, just release them. I want though a proper legend scale huffer. I might have to go third party for that because uh, although I have the Optimus Prime repaint, I, I really want one that looks like huffer. And silly me missed out on Legends gears, which you can't find anywhere. So I might have to end up going third party uh, to be for gears as I think I have all the 84 Autobots in legend scale or at least a representation of them in legend scale except for well i do have huffer and but i don't have gears but the huffer i have eh, it's not i don't like it it's it's basically a, a prime repaint which i thought is really cheap even with pipes yes a decent night beat so that's the thing um i i, I uh a couple of videos ago, I, I talked about um, the monster bots and how I didn't like Hasbro giving all these non-traditional um, Transformers the Headmaster treatment. And, you know, they gave Target Masters, like Trigger Happy, the Headmaster treatment. Yet they, you know, there's other Headmasters. They could have done Minerva. They could have done Nightbeat. The, all the Headmaster Juniors from the J Japanese series. But uh, I don't know. But I am glad they did the monster bots that way. Goldbug, Chase, yeah, heavy load, searchlight, freeway, and roll bar. Thanks, guy bite. Yeah, a new mold might be would be cool. That's an actual headmaster or headmaster, a smaller headmaster. We got um, was that chrome Do uh, chrome dome repaint as a headmaster getaway, I believe. Yeah. Now, if they did a, a decent, uh, a decent night beat mold, I wouldn't mind if they repainted it to be uh, Minerva. I'm okay with that. I mean, they repainted that blur mold and retooled that blur mold mold so many times to be RC and other uh, Transformers. But a decent night beat would be cool. But you know, with them releasing um, Ape Face and Spinister, uh, it it gives me hope that we'll see other, um, you know, post nineteen eighty six characters. You know, uh, characters from the nineteen eighty seven, nineteen eighty eight, and and beyond years. So I hope we do. I really do. But definitely wish they will do Snapdragon because he goes with um, Ape Face. And I wish we got a proper um, double dealer because I do have that Blitzwing repaint. And that's not, I, I want a real double dealer from Hasbro. I don't know if any third party makes one, but I do definitely want Hasbro to do. Uh, to remake a double dealer uh, figure. Uh, let's see. Some areas just got to concentrate on a little bit more. Be right back. Got to get some water. It's 92 with humidity. Well, thanks for hanging out on uh, Ninja Bill. I'm probably going to end the stream pretty soon. It's been about 40 minutes already. <laughs> uh, Skybite, I would love a recolor of the new Sia Cons. In their beat, you know, Skybite. Hopefully, I mean, they they did G two colors for Combiner Wars. I I don't see why not uh, to do to do a uh, the Sia Cons that way. And who knows? Because in twenty uh, twenty one, that's going to be the twenty fifth anniversary of Beast Wars. But then again, twenty twenty two would be the twenty uh 25th anniversaries i don't know beast wars second will be i don't know beast wars 2021 right so who knows it's not beast wars uh second anniversary but with the sea cons having been released by then i'm i hope all of them um i don't see why not do that as a special 
thing, like release uh, them in those colors for to celebrate uh, Beast Wars. Recolor and Beast Wars. Yeah. Man, I'm hoping in 2021, I, you know, I, I really like Beast Wars, so I'm hoping in 2021 there's a lot of cool stuff down the line to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Beast Wars. I've been collecting the MP um, series, but um, if I wouldn't mind if Hasbro re-released um, again. I guess they did it. I think they did it in the 10th anniversary. But if they re-released um, Optimus Primal and Megatron, that'd be kind of cool. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut the stream off. It's been about 45 minutes. Don't want to make this too long. You know, just want to thank everybody for coming down, hanging out. And I will try to schedule another one next week as well. And see you guys all there. Anyway, thanks for watching.